So today we're installing at the King Salmon Ruakaka Farm. This is in the Queen Charlotte Sound. We're installing Aqua Lobo sensors with labellium data loggers connected through the Vodafone network to the Adroit platform. We're going to install this sensor at the barge level and this will be dropped down into the water to measure the salt level values of this area. It's at the same location we'll have two dissolved oxygen sensors, one at 25 metres and one at 5 metres to give us a variant of profile to see what's happening in the water. So in the Queen Charlotte Sound, we have Ruakaka and its sister site at Otanarau, and that's considered a, a region. And then down Tory Channel, where the ferry goes, we have three sites down there, Clay Point, Te Pangu and Namahau, and that's uh, another region. So here we have a, a, a series of old structures, which are 20 by 20, um, and then we have three new structures, which are 40 foot by 40 pens. So slowly but surely we are moving away from our older structures and incorporating in these new ones. So the installation we're doing today with the adroit sensors means that we can have an online view of the data. You know, that's operationally that's really important, it's uh, immediate, it's right in front of the operator. But also we can historically extract that data and compare trends over time. This is the Aqua Lobo Dissolved Oxygen Sensor, uh, DO for short. We connect this to the Labellium Data Logger, which connects to the internet through the Vodafone Cat M1 network and to the Adroit platform where all the data is collected. We connect the sensor and ping the data from the sensor every 15 minutes and we get a really good story of what's happening in the water um, and what you know effects it'll have on the health of the fish. I guess the immediate effect is if if, if we say self-feeding and the dissolved oxygen, say, below 6 milligrams per litre, if it's looking quite low, and we start feeding and it suddenly drops to 4, we'd, we'd stop feeding immediately. And that's not something we would pick up with the old system because we measure it before the meal in the morning. So we don't have any live data during the meal of what is actually happening. So that could be quite a bonus. It'll be really interesting for us, you know, what does happen during mealtime, during feeding. We have had a look, but it's always dropping a DO meter, dropping it down at say five meters or whatever depth, and walking around the pens and taking the reading now and then an hour later. You're not, you're not seeing any gradual changes or shifts. So even for myself, I've been here for years, to be able to see that live during the actual feeding, or during the day even, would be interesting. Does it, does it decrease, does it increase on a hot day towards the end of the day? So today we've installed dissolved oxygen centres. We've got uh, one set sort of central on the farm and one set to the end of the farm. And basically that's sort of going to give us a, a differential um, of how each end of the farm is performing. Dissolved oxygen is very important for the fish when they're feeding. If it, it is out of range, then it is not a good practice to, to feed the fish. So we will look uh, at those sensors, we'll look at the readings, and that will be a trigger for us to stop feeding. Yes, yeah, so definitely one of the new features of the system is that we can put our upper and lower limits, and these can come to us as an alarm, which is definitely uh, advantageous for the operator on the day. Our data analysis uh, is often just day to day or week to week on a farm. One thing we haven't been able to do historically is actually gather that data in time and report on that. So one of our big things that we can do with the Adroit system is that we can actually extract that, put it into our database systems, into our business intelligence tools and give us some real information. At Adroit, you know, we're all about collecting the data, we're all about the IoT part. So we're about being able to get the data from the sensors, get it through the internet to our platform. What that does is starts to collect the data and, and, and form a picture of what's happening. It's not about what's happening right now, it's about what's happening over the next sort of two to five years. It's about finding the patterns so that, you know, the farmers can make you know, small micro changes about you know, how, you know, how they feed at different times, how the weather affects it, etc. And really understand what's happening with the water to make the environment better. You know, it's all about being sustainable and really farming um, you know, to better the environment.